Hey guys, Jasko here. I'm back from E3 and I have some exclusive Battlefield 4 footage for the first time. I've ever driven the tank around in Battlefield 4 already doing damage. That pole goes some distance. I'll tell you that the vehicle combat in this game is different than Battlefield 3 in a lot of ways. I'm about to engage in an enemy tank on a one-on-one -on -one fight in just a minute. But on the mini-map, look right now, I got a UAV above me. It's spotting out the infantry in sort of pulses. That's kind of cool, I guess. But check out this vehicle combat. So remember guys, in Battlefield 3, if you got the tank down to a certain amount of damage, it would be disabled, and then it would start to drain its health, and then eventually blow up. So I got three hits on it, I got a third hit, but let's pause it for a second. Check this out guys, it has a vehicle hit and a vehicle mobility hit. One of the big differences in Battlefield 4 is that you can bring the health down of the enemy vehicle down to a substantial amount without it actually being disabled. In order to get it disabled, you have to get a side or a rear hit in order to make it immobile. And you'll notice here is that as he's hitting me, it's doing about 20 damage per hit every time he hits me. Likewise, I hit him five times. Five times 20 is 100, so I take him out pretty easily. And after clearing out those infantry pretty handily, I want to move back and help my team. I'm actually, uh, I can't move for some reason. I don't know why I can't move fast. I don't know if it's I'm because I'm disabled or because I'm stuck on something. Remember guys, this is a closed alpha. The game is certainly going to change. There are certainly bugs here. So bear with us on that. But as you'll notice, my health is regenerating. Regenerating pretty quickly, actually. And as I'm doing this, my ammo is regenerating as well. Eventually, I do get unstuck, and I'm going to get back into the action. I also have some audio glitches as well. I really can't hear my vehicle, but I can hear everything around me. Back into the fight. Here we go. I'm moving pretty fast. I feel like I can move faster in Battlefield 4 than in Battlefield 3. Oh, and here's a bunch of infantry guys. This is going to be all combat using my secondary. And you'll notice that I'm using my main gun too. But it's really my secondary doing most of the damage. I'm not doing that well with hitting them. But I am getting some kills here and there. For those that are experienced with the LMG in Battlefield 3 with the tank, You'll say, wow, Dasker, look at this. You don't have to reload at all. There's no overheat. And that's right. I can shoot a whole lot more rounds with my secondary relative to my uh, previous Battlefield 3 game. There's a guy right next to me. I can take him out. He goes down pretty ugly. Oh, no. More firing. And, uh-oh, here's the Jeep. Got to push that Jeep up. I like how as I'm, I, I fire, it sort of does some cool effects. Some guys may not like this, but... I hit now, what, three shots into this enemy vehicle and still not down yet. To me, this shows that these armored vehicles do have a lot more health uh, to them than they would, you would think otherwise, but I do get that kill. And an anti-vehicle ribbon. That's my first anti-vehicle ribbon ever. Pretty sweet. A lot of infantry, though. I'm taking a few damage here and there. I think a lot of them aren't going engineer, and so this makes it pretty easy. I'm just maneuvering back and forth using some real basic techniques. I can zoom in. I'm zooming in, and even when I'm zoomed in, I'm actually getting a lot of accuracy when doing so. One of the other big differences in this compared to Battlefield 3 is that the shell that I have does not do a lot of damage to infantry unless I get a direct hit. The splash damage simply isn't there. More infantry guys. Uh, I had a little trouble with the mouse and keyboard on this because it's a new setup that I'm not used to using, but I still feel like I'm doing pretty good for myself. Uh, I'm not getting snagged on nearly as many things as I thought I would be, and that's really cool. In the past uh, Battlefield 3 Alpha, I certainly did. A lot of guys moving around. Here comes another enemy tank doesn't see me. I get a hit on him. But I, I don't think that was a, a 90 degree shot because I didn't get a vehicle mobility disable on him. But I am uh, moving around back and forth. I'm a bit exposed, uh, but as you can see, even when he does hit me on the side, I'm only down 20 health. I'm now reloading this ammo. Here comes the shot, and he goes down. I take it out. A lot of guys near me. I gotta, I gotta keep on fighting. So many of them. Take out one. Look at all those guys. Oh, line them up. Line them up. <laughs> oh, headshot ribbons. Look at all those kills. Now, I just went on a pretty epic streak. And another tank here. Am I going to take the tank out? I hope I can. He doesn't even see me. He needs to pay more attention. But my ammo is, is low. I'm going to give him a little little uh, love bump. Give him a love bump. You're not here in trouble, dude. I'm going to love bump you. And he's almost dead. Get a vehicle hit. He gets out. Not enough. 
I got promoted. All right. And, uh-oh. Uh I have 25% health. There's a tank in front of me. Am I going to be able to survive it? There's another tank, but is the tank going to go after me or the other guy? No, I go down. So, final thoughts and conclusions. Battlefield 4 tanking is going to be a whole lot like Battlefield 2. Not as much about Battlefield 3 in terms of getting those angles. But that's okay, though, because you can still get those mobility disables, and mobility disable at 90% health means that you're a sitting duck. I like that. I'll have a whole lot more E3 videos coming up real soon, so stay tuned. See you guys later.